morning. Morning. Say well. Ask again later. Is that one of those magic eight balls? Yeah, I got it from the op shop. I've decided to let it make my decisions for the day. And if it goes well, I'll never have to make another decision again. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a terrible idea. Is this a terrible idea? My reply is no, but you feel like an idiot now. What if it tells you to jump off a cliff or punch a tenant in the face? I'm not going to ask with stuff like that, am I? You try. Ask me if you should have pancakes for breakfast. No. Come on, what if your life could be exponentially better in ways you can't even imagine? All because today you chose pancakes. I doubt it. Oh, you're scared. That's like saying I'm scared to roll a dice. What if it was magic dice? They'd make hundreds of those bowls and... Bowls. They'd make hundreds of those things in a factory somewhere. I doubt each one's blessed by a wizard. I mean, it would be hard. The wizard just stand at the production line conveyor belt, just blessed, blessed. Blessed. Easy. Well, their arms will get tied and it's a waste of their talent. Why are you so against this? I just think those sort of things prey on gullible people. <gasps> Do they? People think they're some sort of magical item and they're just a random number generator. Will Daniel die this year? Well, well, what, what, what are you doing? Well, it's just a random number generator. Who cares what it says? Well, yeah, but... But what? As an agnostic, even though I am all about science, I have to acknowledge that there is a minuscule possibility that magic is real and you've just sealed my fate. What did the bowl say about me? Should I tell Daniel? Sorry, buddy. Come on. I'd like to help you. My hands are tied. Just tell me. Should I get dressed for work? Boring. Where are you going? To get dressed. And what did the bowl say about me? It told me not to tell you. Well, ask it again. Best out of three. Says, tell Daniel to stop asking. I know that's not one of them. What did the bowl say? Bowl. Yeah, we know. Even if we had so far to go. Mate, you're not actually worried, are you? Watch this. Will I get this in? Yes, definitely. See? Doesn't know shit. I know, it's just... What? You're obviously not going to die this year. Look at you. Body picture of health. You could be in a muesli ad. What? Is that me? Come here. Oh, right. I found a lump this morning. A lump? Whenever I shower, I check that stuff, and I found a lump on one of my testicles. Oh, shit. That would freak out a normal person like me, and you're you. How far down the Google hole are you? Pretty far. Oh, I wouldn't. Oh, Jesus! I warned you. Why would you click images? Well, stop doing that right now and book an appointment with Grace. I can't go to Mike's girlfriend, hey, long time no see, can you please check my balls? She's a GP. And she's familiar with them. She's perfect. If anything, she's overqualified. It's not like I showed them to a hips when we were dating, and I only got them out in certain lighting conditions. Well, then call another doctor. Yeah, but I trust Grace and I've got her mobile if I get scared. You're having a real problem with balls today, aren't you? Yes, I am. Sorry, it's just, you know, you've got two problems and they're both about balls. It's interesting. Don't you two have inspections to go to? Yes. Are you going to tell your mum? About my balls? No. What, she's had health scares in the past. She might have some Barbara wisdom to calm you down. Well, she's your mum. When you're scared, you talk to your mum. The only time I've talked to mum about genitals was when I was 10 years old. She threw a sex ed book on my bed and said, read it. What was the book? I don't know. It had a bunch of large cartoon people rubbing together. Is that why you're attracted to large cartoon people? That's one of the reasons, yes. I mean, she's so good. This is to all be prickle bushes. Stop Googling. Hello? Lena, we don't give out awards, but if we did, you would win most cleanest and possibly most best smelling. Is that lavender? It is, yeah, yeah. I make candles and soaps and that sort of thing. It's just a little hobby, but um, <laughs> I've actually got a sample basket for you both. Oh, oh thank you. Yeah. That is so nice. Daniel's been meaning to try soap for years. Oh, no worries. Um, Actually, on an unrelated note, um, I have a favour to ask you guys. Uh, sure. I've got a problem with my landlord. You, how? You're the best tenant ever. Oh, 
No, she, she just keeps coming round to say... Hi. And sometimes she brings me a coffee. Look, I know how it sounds. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Um, can you ask her to stop? No, I can't just say, can you please not come around anymore because I don't want you to. She's my landlord. What if she kicks me out or raises the rent? Plus, it'd just be really awkward. Uh, so, what do you want us to do? I don't know. Just stop her coming round without hurting her feelings. I mean, is it that bad, having a really friendly landlord? Mm. She's... She's just... I just don't like her, OK? She, she acts like she knows everything. She's never once asked me about myself. And she, she's constantly trying to improve me, like... Um, we'll talk to her. Yeah, mm. and make sure you don't say anything about this coming from me. Real estate agent confidentiality, right? Oh, I don't think... Oh, my God, that's her knock. You recognise her knock? Yeah, that's how often she comes around. Lena! <sighs> me! Margaret! Uh, I mean, should we get the door? We won't have to. Hello! Hi, Margaret. Hello. Hi. Hi. I brought some of that caramel tea for you to try. It's just, it's so great for sleep, you know, it'll help with all the puffiness and the bloodshot eyes that you had yesterday. Yeah, well, you came around very early. But, um, I will message you once I've tried it. Thank you. put the kettle on now? I could use a cup of... Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're from a... <laughs> oh, excuse me. McCallum Real Estate, is that right? Yes. yes. Yeah. I've only ever dealt with Barbara, but I recognise you from the website. Oh, you look a little different in real life. Oh, good different. <laughs> Lena, she really looks after the place, doesn't she? Yes. Uh, in fact, she's one Tidy of home her... is a tidy mind. Did you know that if you do not make your bed as soon as you get up, you will have a less productive day? Oh, Lena, come on now. You know how much I hate that. You do not want to get arthritis, do you? Oh, sorry, it's just a habit. It's actually a common myth that cracking your knuckles causes arthritis. I don't think that's true. My ex-girlfriend's on GP and she told me that. Well, all myths are based in reality. They're not, actually. That's what they mean. Well, my mother cracks her knuckles and she has arthritis. Yes, but that doesn't mean cracking your knuckles causes the arthritis. Hey, you got a new kettle. Hey, it's not the one I recommended. Oh, sure you have your reasons. <laughs> I knew it. Cracking knuckles and arthritis is a myth. Look. I believe you. Well, good. What are we going to do about Margaret? I'm going to send her this article. No, I mean, about getting her to stop going around. Barbara signed her. Maybe she can sort it out? No, I'm going to just handle it to us. OK, so what's the plan? Hello? Sorry. Just let it go. Some people just believe what they want to believe. Uh, oh, no, I've moved on now. I'm, I'm reading a... Uh... What? A uh, support forum for uh, testing. Put it away right now. It's a support forum. I'll be your support forum. You're so brave. It's fine. You've got hands down the best balls. I'll stick in to the... that one. Thank you. I mean, just, it, it could be nothing, okay? Worrying about it's not going to help either way. It's going to get yourself all worked up. You never think it's going to happen to you? We don't know it's happened to you. Look, ring grace is practice right now and just book in, okay? We can go after lunch. If you don't call the book right now, I'm calling myself while I'm driving. And I'll use both my hands Fine. to hold the phone. I'm calling. Uh, hi, I'd like to book an appointment with Dr. Howler, please. It's about his balls. Yes, thank you, mate. Uh, it is about my balls. I don't understand how there are whole magazines dedicated to fishing. I mean, how much changes? It's not like one of the articles is the fish are onto us. Maybe I should have shaved them. Mate! Sorry. Thanks for waiting with me. Of course I'm going to be here for you. And don't worry, Grace is going to be fine. She's a professional. Seeing people's balls and buttholes is just part of her day. Same as when we inspect a house. Quickly change the subject. You brought it up. I was talking about fishing. A bream come true. Are you going to pick another topic? Um, would you ever wear leather pants? Mm. What made you think of that? I don't know. I just, they just popped in my head. I, I don't think I've ever known someone who wears leather pants. Hi, you two. Hi, Grace. Hi. Would you ever own leather pants? No. Why? If you have chafing, I can recommend a cream. No, Daniel asked me if I'd wear them. What, just out of the blue? Yeah. She asked me to change the subject and they just popped in my head. We were talking about fish. It was a weird jump. No, I, I just... Sorry, do you want to come in or...? Yes, thank you. Good luck. 
I hate Barrow Mondays. Oh. It's good to see you. You too. You too. What's been news? Uh, we got a new photocopier, so if you need anything copied. Well, we've got one at the office, but I'll make sure to come to you from now on. How's, um... Jason. Yes. He's good, thanks. Sorry. Uh, no, 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 I, I asked, and uh, I'm, I'm glad he's good. Are you seeing anyone? No, 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 just, just taking some time for me. Oh, good. That's very, um, healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what can I do for you? I found a lump on my balls. Oh, right. Well, that's no good. Oh, God. No, I just mean it could be anything, though. So, there's no need to stress at this point. I hope you haven't been Googling. No. Um, so I do this all the time. I mean, I, d I don't do this all the time, but I, I do this. So, um, stand up and pants down. I should have seen a different doctor. No, no, no. This is my job. Don't worry. <laughs> I've seen you naked before. The only difference is I'm not naked too. And I'm wearing gloves. Come on. It'll be fine. Was I supposed to shave them? You didn't? No. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you didn't have to. Yeah, OK. Uh, man with a fish. Man with a fish. Fish with a man. Man with a... Mm. Hello. I have an appointment at 2.30 p.m. Doctor isn't running late, is she? I have bocce at four. It's a great game. In Italian. Sure, take a seat, please. Yeah. Emma! Oh, hi! Fancy seeing you twice in one day. Yeah! Hey, you like four-wheel driving. Oh, no, no, just, you know, grabbing whatever's on the top. Just waiting for Daniel. Ooh, I thought he looked off. I donated those. Right. You would love four-wheel driving, by the way. And, and, you know, a little bit more sun wouldn't hurt you. Sorry? That's a lovely way to see nature. And it is good for the environment. How is it good for the environment? Well, by driving over the tracks, we stop them from getting overgrown. But the environment... That's part of the reason why I'm here. I haven't been able to enjoy it as much as usual, because my allergies have been playing up. Very annoying. Sure, but surely squashing plants with a car... I hope I don't have to wait long. Sitting is the new smoking. What? You okay? Great. Almost done. No rush. Um, I think we should get an ultrasound just to be safe. How long have I got? Well, my friend Priya will be able to fit you in this afternoon. Oh, no, no, no. Um, how long have I got? To live. Oh, Dan, I mean, there are several reasons you could have a lump that aren't serious. I'm just getting the ultrasound to be sure. If I was concerned, I'd tell you. OK, um, thank you. And I, I'm sorry about this. No, don't apologise. That's why I'm here. I mean, I didn't specifically become a doctor so that I could do this, but happy to help. I've also got a problem with my butt, if you don't mind having a look. Oh, uh, OK. Sorry, that was a joke to try and break the awkwardness, but I, I think I made it worse. I mean, how is four-wheel driving good for the environment? It's pollution. And surely the environment would want the tracks to be overgrown. Yeah. Lena's a great tenant, and Margaret's going to drive her out. And any other tenants we try and put in there. She just talks at you. I swear, if I'd fainted mid-sentence, I don't think she would have noticed. Um, other than tell Margaret to leave Lena alone, I'm not sure what else we can do. Can you get a restraining order on someone because they're annoying? Uh, no, otherwise... Oh, I would have got one on you! I said it first. What are you looking at? It better not be ball-related. I can't help it. I, I know it's silly, but I feel like if I just search enough, I can find something that tells me it's going to be fine. If Grace isn't worried, then you shouldn't be worried. Yes, but it's Grace's job to keep people calm, no matter how sick they are. 
just, just tell me what the bowl said. Am I going to die this year? It said, very doubtful. I think it's very doubtful. That's what it said. OK, you're right. I asked it if you were going to die this year, and it said, no way. OK. I looked up the possible answers, and that's not even one of them. So which one was it? It is certain. Outlook good. Ask again Who later. Who cares? You said it yourself. It's just a random number thingy. It costs five bucks. Just, just, just tell me what it said, and I'll know if you're lying. You really want to know? Yes. I'll stay calm. Most likely. Most likely? Oh, God! It doesn't know what it's oh. talking about. It's a toy! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die this year. I don't even know what month. Could be... Right. Could be this month. Could be tomorrow. Could be tonight. Where are you, where are you going? Em? Don't ask it again. Most likely gives me a slim chance of survival. Come with me. What are you doing? I'm gonna destroy it so you can see inside it and realise it's nothing special. There's no Mount Doom to throw it into, so the road will have to do. Em, wait, 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 wait. You're right, I'm being silly. Please don't wreck something you find fun just because I worry too much. I mean, you forget that I do also find breaking things fun, but I should never have asked it if you were gonna die. I was just messing around and I hate how much it's upset you. I know. I'm sorry I keep talking about my bowls. Wizard made this one strong. Should I get a brick? You don't have to break it. How about from now on, I'll only ask it what I should have for breakfast? Sounds good. And will I marry David Tennant? Why not? They smell really good. Do we have to give them back if we can't solve their problem? I've never been given a thanks in advance gift before. It always feels like a threat. Mm. Morning. 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 Oh, hi, Mum. Everything all right? Yeah. Well, actually... Yes? Just having a bit of a health scare. It, it's probably nothing, but I found a lump on my... Balls. Thank you, Mrs Marsh. Just waiting on the results. Right. Well, you seem to be doing all the right things. Try not to worry about it and whatever comes next, we'll deal with it then. OK? Thanks, Mum. That was awesome. Do you feel better? I do, actually. Oh, yeah. oh God, it's Margaret. What do we do? I spoke to her in the waiting room. It's your turn. What? Em. Hello. Hi, Margaret. Hello. I just came in to um, drop off a book for Emma. Local guide to four-wheel driving tracks. Most people, they get lost on their first outing. I didn't. That's, uh, it's very kind. Mm. Hey, that's quite a collection of soap you got there. If you're suffering from body odour, I have a few herbal remedies I can recommend. No, why would you presume that? Well, it's a lot of soap for one person. They're a gift from Lena. She makes candles and soaps out of lavender. Does she? She is full of surprises. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, can you ask Emma not to draw on the book or bend the pages in any way? I will want it back. Can do. <laughs> Uru! Were you two hiding from Margaret? She's still our client. No, I uh, had a meeting with Barbara. And this is my office? It made sense for me to be in it? Oh, yeah, how come I saw you walk out before, then walk straight back in when Margaret arrived? I realised I forgot something. What? My meeting with Emma. Lena doesn't want to come around anymore. I know. Emma just told me. At our meeting. So what do we do? You tell her that Lena likes her privacy. She's an adult, she'll understand. If she doesn't, she's got a lot to learn about being a landlord. OK, great. Can you do it? You signed her. No. I feel like most of our job is just to deal with the stuff you don't want to deal with. It is. How are we going to break it to her? What? Mate. I'm a genius. Self-proclaimed doesn't count. 
Margaret sneezed after she smelled the basket, right? She did. And at Lena's house that time? Yeah. And the other day, she told me that her allergies have been playing up more than usual lately. OK. Then, when I was hiding in Barbara's office... So you were hiding? I noticed that she sneezed as soon as she got next to Lena's soaps. You think she's allergic to lavender? Exactly. What? Couldn't decide whether to say bingo or exactly. All oh, right. So what, what do you plan to do with that information? I'll tell you exactly what we're going to do. Now, are you sure it's lavender that's affecting her? Like 99% sure. Mm -hmm. And this way, no one's feelings get hurt. She'll come over and just gently bounce off the smell force field. Mm -hmm. It's actually making my eyes water. Hey, did you know lavender promotes wellness? This will be really good for your balls. What? And may reduce mild pain. Let me pinch you. No. You won't feel it. No. Just come here, let me pinch you. No, Tell get me off. if you can no, twist. No, Tell no, me stop if you can it. feel this. Stop it. I think she's coming. Um, right, well, we should probably hide because even with this, she might still stay to chat because there's three of us. Yeah. Oh, do you really think that or do you just not want to talk to her? Let's say the first one. Bedroom. Thank you. Ow! Do you feel that? Yes. I'm not sure about this. Well, it's not like we're releasing a swarm of bees at her. We're just putting something she doesn't like onto something she shouldn't touch. Like when a guy wears a fedora. Hello! Hi, Margaret. Found it. That hmm? good posture video I was telling you all about. Uh, I really think you'll notice yes. the difference. No more hunching over like a goblin. Great. <clears throat> huh. Daniel mentioned your little hobby. <laughs> Yes. That is a, um... That's a lot of candles. Yeah, I'm just, uh, testing out all my products. Suddenly quite warm. Need some... Some... Fresh air. Um, guys? Are we going to go to jail? Don't say that. I don't know. Absolutely not. Did you get it out of the bush? Yes. What is the sentence for poisoning someone? I did say that I'm... You sure. also helped me light 100 candles. Why don't I listen to you guys? What if, what if she's not OK? We didn't know this would happen. Well, you knew something would happen. We thought she'd sneeze. I just feel awful. Also, maybe you should look into how powerful your products are. I wouldn't call what happened to her an example of wellness. <gasps> Hello. Oh, my God, are you OK? I am so sorry to scare you all. She's OK now. Her intolerance to lavender sent her into anaphylaxis. So gave her some adrenaline. She's fine now. Didn't even know I was allergic. I'm sure I've been around lavender before. Yeah, being exposed to such a large amount caused the extreme reaction. Oh, yeah, there must have been, what, I mean, 50 candles? Well, could you send me a photo later of them all blown out? Otherwise, I won't be able to sleep. Candles are a leading cause of house fires. I am so sorry. I... It was an innocent mistake. How could you have known? We, uh... Well, oh, no, sorry, you go. No, 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 you go. Well, um, I mean, we may be suspected that you didn't love lavender and might have put more of it around. What? Why? It's not their fault. Thank you. Not entirely. Oh, yep. It was because I was trying to gently encourage you not to come around so much. I'm sorry, it's just I'm a real solo person and I like my quiet and time to myself, so... Are you serious? The poisoning was their idea, though. I, I wouldn't call it poisoning. But I did go along with it. I am so sorry. And you know what? I really do appreciate you making an effort with me. So, you know, you can come around whenever you like from now on. Within reason. Fantastic. How about I move in? Is that within reason? Just kidding. I do not need to come around at all. I mean, I thought I was doing you a favour. Wait, me? Yeah, you never have guests. I thought you were lonely. To be honest, I've been getting a bit exhausted just trying to come up with things to talk to you about. <laughs> that is so great. <laughs> is it? You're such a great tenant. I wanted to make sure you were happy. I am happy. Yeah, I just like my own space. That is so understandable. I will make sure that you have it from now on. Thank you. Thank you so much, Grace. Yeah, no problem. And, Margaret, is there anything we can do for you? Lift home would be nice. What about your taxi service? Sorry, it's probably too soon to make jokes. You can sit in the front seat. So, instead of doing what I said, you poisoned one of our landlords. And took her straight to the doctor, which is something an evil poisoner wouldn't have done. Oh, well done, then. What we did was dumb. Hold that sentence there. I do not want to hear the but. 
However, this did resolve it in a way that didn't hurt anyone's feelings whilst hang on to one of our best tenants. But yes, we did almost kill the landlord. I'm really sorry. Super sorry. We're not done talking about this, but you got a visitor. Do you want support? Yes, please. Hi, Grace. Hi, I have news. I'm happy for a minute here. I'm going to stand behind you in case you faint. Thanks, mate. All clear. Yes! Yes! yes. yes. Three-way high five. Oh. Oh, so that never worked because of the angle. You don't get a clean hit on the palm. It was worth trying. What was the lump? Um, how much detail do you want me to go into in a group? Oh, let's let's just go all in. Okay. It's called a spermatocele. Basically, it's a little fluid-filled lump on your testicles. Cool. Yay! Well, I think tonight we should treat ourselves to the beer that's in bottles. Can I take you a drink at the pub tonight? Yeah, that'd be lovely. You're not going to the pub tonight. You almost killed a landlord. That's fair. Is this technically all Daniel's fault? Throw it in the bin. No, 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 no. Throw it in the bin. Keep it. Throw it in the bin. You can throw it in the bin. Just take it. Just take it. M, give me the bowl. A bowl of what? Not very funny. Just, just give it here. Mum. <laughs> People just don't like fun runs. What? I've been trying to get this town healthier, but I don't think anyone cares. Do you want to get back together with her? I just don't want her to feel bad again, ever. Just don't do anything rash. She's in a relationship, you know. Oh, good, you're here. She's ruining Frank's birthday drinks. Making us hand out flyers to the whole town. And my side has more letterboxes on it. It's not fair. You pick that side. Hello. Hello. Come Are here. you putting a dog? No, no, I'm putting a flyer in the letterbox. Good boy. Good boy. Hello, hello. The letterbox is a good boy. It is, yes, sir. I'm coming over. No, 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 stick to your side. I want to put a dog. No dog here, mate. Hello. High five. You did it. You did it. 